You know, did you not play any games yourself? Played two pubs. They yeah. Were pretty. Yeah. Well, yeah. solos or parties with the lads? Or? Played some party. Party. Just played some pudge. Yeah. Good old pudge. Yeah, and we're not seeing any pudge have we in the games we've casted. Is he unpicked? I think he's un. Is he? No, he's been. Oh, I think you're. No, I think you're right. Yeah, I think just, he is unpicked. Let me, let me I think. Check, he, I, I think you're right. No, I'm pretty sure he's in. He's one of the unpicked. He's one of the unpicked heroes. Yeah, that'll that'll change. All right, we'll save us him today. Well, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, of course, to Stream Three. We're going to be taking you through Empire versus Fnatic, myself and Fog. Draft, as you can see, underway. And again, huge variety in the bans. The team is targeting each other. First ban on the Bloodseeker coming out from Empire. And, yeah. Uh, first phase ban on the Puck. From Fnatic and actually yeah, the grab themselves the Io. Okay, yeah, All that was right. the thing I was con yeah. considering if they were going to ban out the. I didn't think they'd ban Veveno. Bloodseeker seems like everybody's banning out Bloodseeker versus Fnatic since they're picking it first two every game. Uh, People versus Empire, they're banning out the Kunkka mostly, but the Puck was also something that FN plays super well. And Ghostic, it just gives them a lot of variety. So it makes sense that Fnatic just ban those out versus Empire. But yeah, now Fnatic gets their Io. So it's pretty tough because that's one of their better heroes with their aggression. So unpicked heroes have been Abaddon, Bane, Klinx, Huskar, Lion, Meepo, Pudge, Skyrath, Spectre, Tiny Warlock. I think quite a lot of those are surprising as well. There's definitely, definitely valid heroes still. Yeah, I in think those in that collection. Surely. The Bane, Bane's, Bane, Bane's there. I, I mean, even even Abaddon. We've got some Abaddon playing teams, haven't we? Or is it? He kind of fell gone? off. He's kind of gone. gone. Yeah, okay. I think. I saw com I saw people experimenting with clinks, but I don't think people like like in scrims and stuff. I don't know if people have. Yeah, I know Re Rezo it. likes a bit of clinks, doesn't he? Yeah, he's the one actually who tried it a bit. I know yeah. EG tried it too. I know a couple teams tried it, but they're, I don't know if they're gonna try. It. Warlock's definitely surprised. We've de we have seen Warlock banned, haven't we? Yes. The, he's definitely been banned the most, prob yep. maybe even out of the ones that are left to be picked. Yeah, I'd say we'll probably. get It depends on which teams are left to. Like the Meepo's likely as well, but. All right. Take a look at what we got going on. AA Empire's also been really liking this hero. The they, they adjusted a bit yesterday. They were really looking at Earthshaker and AA since their Kunko was banned every game. But this time around, they do get a Night Stalker and Fnatic gets. I think actually this is two of their two best heroes. So I think. I, so I do see them play the Nyx and the IO quite a lot. Okay. Cool. And they do play with the Nyx, the support rather than the. They have it as a position. Ball. Yeah, yeah. Usually it's gonna be. Uh, DJ or Febby playing it. I think this will be a DJ IO and Febby will be playing. But they do inter they do interchange a bit. Okay. Heroes. Well, I, I so far you're both teams pretty much on the same level in terms of what they're showing. Just showing the two supports. Yep. Ban out the Ursa from Empire, the of course, incredibly good IO partner. And just aggression. When I think of a fanatic, I think of just like heroes that can just run at you in battle all the time. Because yeah. I mean, Kyo's on that team. That's Kyo's mentality of just fight, fight, fight. Uh, I want to see some Kyo PA. I mean, they could do it with the other. They, they could do it's it. It's actually not. I mean, the, the, the Night Stalker is annoying, I guess, yeah. with the amount of single target he has. But uh, you're going to get BKB anyway. And then you're going to be able to melt the AA. He has his specific matchups that he likes to pick the PA versus. Okay. So, we'll, yeah, we'll, I guess we'll have to wait and see. And no. I think the so Bristle gonna be one of them. The Bristle could be a ban that Empire considers. I don't know if AA is enough to really deal with the IO Bristle. Because no. Fnatic just really like it. That duo. Just the amount of pressure it can put on the safe lane. The Weaver ban, of course, not not too surprising at all, considering yeah. what we saw. Yeah, it was Rezo yesterday. Was yesterday Rezo had that amazing game on the Weaver, or was that day one? I think that was day one. That right? was day one. Because we, we well, covered, we casted that one, right? Who were they against when he did that? It was, uh, it was, was it Hellraiser's? It was one of the other teams that are at the lower end of the groups, I think. But uh, they absolutely trashed a game when Reza had his Weaver. Yeah, it was versus Infamous. It was versus Infamous. That was yeah. it. Was and I, I don't think he died at all that game. He had an incredibly easy game. Yeah. So, understandable why Fnatic don't want to let that Weaver get through. And the Weaver is also it's just amazingly good versus Io. It's one of the worst things to play True. Because you've got... Of course, there's no way to stun him, no way to lock him down, and, and it's, if the bugs cling on you, you're yeah. low armor, you're screwed. And it's very good with AA. Yeah. Of course, with the chilling touch. Very nice in lane. So, understandable why. That won't be getting a free pass here this draft. Empire, see what they want to tackle, as, as you say, I'm almost certainly expecting to just see these, these well, I'll say the IRA partners, not necessarily one of the, the biggest ones, but definitely one that Fnatic are, are confident with picking up. Banning out that TA with a bit of respect. Quick in response though, Fnatic will grab themselves the Darks here. Interesting, the, so. the TA ban, because I don't think yeah, Fnatic hasn't really played TA at all. So that was. Has it been banned out against them a few times? 
Doesn't, no, I haven't seen it really being banned out or picked up by them okay. at all. It's maybe, maybe it's just a matchup that they want. Yes. Maybe they want In to the pick mid, like yeah. some invoker, or if they want to pick some. What else is the big ones that are left? Uh, invoker Lena. I don't think they'll maybe do Lena. It's a possibility, I guess. Just matchups that stink. Oh, they pick Sven as well. So big. Big but hero that we've been seeing rise again because of just how powerful he farms and how actually accelerates ahead of the carries. And maybe a bit of a block pick as well. Yes. You know, not wanting Fnatic to get the Dark Seer Sven yep. going, which could be very strong. I don't know if they've got a, a nice bit of synergy with just the Dark Seer and the, the Nyx Assassin stun. Yeah. It's, it's already quite a nice bit of setup. But yeah, definitely likely to be a deny yeah. pick as well as just. It looks, it looks pretty strong with their lineup too. So they've got their safe lane pretty much all picked up, unless the Night Stalker goes off lane, which we haven't really seen too often. I see what Fnatic. They want to grab. I mean, I think as you, as you said, the fact the Bristleback's still there. PA, I think, yeah, my PA dreams have kind of died now that the Sven's there. <laughs> I don't think there's much chance of them picking a PA into a Sven lineup. I'd hope not. It's not. It would not be tasty. No, it would definitely not be pretty. The nice thing right now for Empire is, you know, they first two picked this AA, and mm -hmm. Fnatic did pick. They already had the IO, and then they picked the Darkseer. So Darkseer naturally builds mech. Oh. IO is a healer, so AA is already going to counteract a bit of their healing with that factor. Ember. All right, we've not actually seen. I mean, I know Ember must have, must have been picked. But. Yes, I saw Miracle go berserk on that hero. Yes. Oh, did he? With, yeah, uh, with actually, was it with an IO? It may have been with an IO. No, 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 it wasn't with an IO. But he just went crazy anyway. Okay. I mean, lots of global presence. Um, well, I mean, I guess the question is as well, what kind of build do we see? Because I know, bro, well, I say recently, but I mean, like over like, the last couple of months, the the Battle Fury build was touched upon again. It I was. Mean, when you've got the Darks here, are you, are you tempted to to go Battle Fury? Or do you think we will just see the the the, the full magic that? That it definitely still feels like the optimal build. I do not like the you Battle Fairy build. You don't, yeah. you don't like think, it when you see it. Pl I think players it's, go yeah. back to it. It's it just does, it's just too weak. It's the way yeah. that, like the Battle Fairy okay. was nerfed. Like the cone, you don't cleave in the proper yeah. AOE, even if it's with like a Dark Seer. So yeah, um, I've been seeing a lot of like the Yule Scepters, a lot of Blade Mails, and okay. stuff like that. A couple. I don't think many Bales actually. I yeah. think that's actually. I think yeah, he's definitely going to need to get Yules early this game, isn't yeah. he? Because the Knight's still moving around. Precisely. Yeah. The nice thing is that they now have Ember with Darks here, so they have that double Ion Shell with the you know, Ooh, Ion Shell true. with the Flame Guard, yeah. which would be really strong and very lethal versus very good against very early game. Yeah, very good against Sven, of course. That that armor at the moment not really going to help him get out against much. That, uh, that Fnatic have in their lineup. Yeah, Fnatic's all magic. Yeah. Completely magic damage. They have no building hitter now, so they need to pick something last that can actually siege and well, take that those that is. Objectives. Yeah, they got no siege at all. Yeah. Power Rider, the pickup for Empire. This is a hero that also, yesterday seemed like the Lich and Batrider day, at least to me when I was looking at the replays and looking at all the games. Uh, yeah, Lich kind of became first ban material at the end Bat, of the day, didn't it? Bat was as well for a lot of teams. Yeah. Bat was being either first banned or first picked by like the likes of Secret. I think Empire was highly favoring it. Pretty sure Fnatic, LGD, LFY, these teams are looking at B Batrider with high regard. Just seems like the, at least, it just seems like the vision is so important in these type of games. It's whoever gets like the big initiation, if they have like a decent lead, if they're like a couple, like a thousand gold ahead, they get the initiation, they win the next like 10 fights pretty much. All about the, getting that initiation and knowing where the enemy team is before you take the fight. Final ban from Fnatic and Empire. Still needing FN's hero in that mid lane. Yes. A lot of strong options still left at, left in. Not not a lot of attention being put to the mid lane in terms of bans. These, these invokers, ODs, as you mentioned, Lena's very much still in the pool. Uh, and, and obviously you are expecting that Ember to go mid, so you can look to try and get the favorable matchup. Viper's going to be banned out. Certainly could have been something that, that could have caused issues for the mid lane Ember. So Fnatic trying to free up that thing, but Empire definitely still have a lot of possibilities to counter pick this mid lane, it feels. Yeah, he does have to deal with kind of a dual lane, so I'm trying to think what would it Sure, yeah. Because it's I probably going to so, be yeah. IO Ember just charging yeah. at him, and that's QO, and he's going <laughs> to literally be diving him 24-7, so I'm trying to think of the options. DK doesn't look very good, cause just, he's a tanky, but he could, he could be tanky enough. They actually still ban out the PA, that's a bit of respect, I don't know <laughs> if Fnatic would have picked it. Into this sort of Sven. I mean, Bat and Ice Talk, these are all pretty nasty heroes uh, for a PA to have to deal with. But yeah, massive respect there from Empire as they still ban it out. What's a good. I'm trying to think because, like, they're playing versus a Nyx Assassin, so it's like, I, I, you don't want to play too many int heroes. Oh, that's. Know, yeah, it, that is true. It can be a yeah. bit punishing, but maybe they still just go for the Invoker because it fits decent. I haven't seen them liking it too much. They have picked it times. Oh, 
Do they don't random? Oh, jeez. They're down to two seconds. Okay. Oh, a PL. And it, you almost certainly will expect that to be the mid lane PL this game. I mean, I guess you have a, a way of escape, but at the same time, I feel like that Ember gets his hands on you. You are you're pretty squishy in the laning stage, aren't you, when you're, if you've already used the doppelganger? Yeah. He's, he's going to uh. need some help in that mid. I, I imagine we'll probably expect well, the Night Stalker to hang around with him in that mid lane and try and bully out this Ember IO duo. They definitely have to start his dual lane, so yeah. I'm wondering if... They're not going to do some... VP I mean, we saw Sven yeah, mid. That's why I'm thinking like. But then I think even if I don't know if it's very good this time. I was going to say even putting the Sven mid, yeah, the Sven is not going to have a good time against an Ember Eye. No, he's not. There's no way to to get that flame guard off him. The Ember's just going to rule the lane. I'm def I'm definitely a bit curious yeah. about the PL pick into Darkseer, Ember, and Nyx. Dude, I think the, if you're Ember now, get the Battle Fury. You're no, playing against the PL, do it. I mean, you can just do the Maelstrom build, right? The you can, yeah, sure. those kind of builds. Oh, we're getting the Monkey King, the safe lane Monkey King, I imagine. By the way, so it's going to be the QI Monkey. So it's going to be the mid Monkey King. So we saw this safe yes lane yesterday. Yeah, I think so. We saw this happen what twice yesterday. Monkey King seemed to have a bit of a surge. There three, definitely at least. Fnatic played it yesterday. To be fair, Fnatic did. Did, was it QI who played it yesterday. QI played, played it yesterday, and yesterday. Miracle yeah. played it yesterday. QI played it, Miracle played it, and oh, LFI Wait, played it. Third? I couldn't remember. Dude, LFI played it, and they did not see the LFI game. No, I didn't get. I didn't get you know to see I, most of the games. Do you know what he built? Why? He built Battle Fury first item on Monkey King, and they won the game. I don't believe you. Check it out. I'm finding. Check it, right it out. Now. Go on, go have a look. No, that's the one. That's it. Yeah. Right. Oh, you're not. You're not lying. <laughs> <laughs> I went ten zero six. Holy crap! Mono the Madman. Battle Fury BKB. Oh my God, he's massive. Oh, well, he's safe lane Monkey King. <laughs> yeah, he yeah he plays safe lane. Owned. Holy crap! Yeah, actually, super. No, he have to build though. I yeah. Battle Fury. I, I mean, I don't really see it too much, but uh, the. Echo Super Blade is definitely the build. It's so on. Oh yeah, you, yeah, definitely. Super the diffuser is so good on that hero. Yeah, I mean the. I think so. Sometimes can so you not good. just skip the echo and get the diffuser? Like, do you have to get the echo? The echo is really nice because you get like sure, you get the third value, hit. I guess. Yeah. All your monkeys get like the third hit inside yeah. of the inside of the ulti. Wow, oh, I'm. Oh. he spots DJ actually placed that one. Yeah, the sentry. This is exciting. So QO indeed mid. I don't think we'll see QO build the battle fury. Unfortunately, that's, that's not. I don't. I'm pretty sure he didn't at least yesterday. So, I wouldn't imagine so. Nah. We'll probably see the more orthodox build from the monkey. But um, it's exciting to see this hero getting picked, you know, after it was, you know, in comparison to where it once was when it came out. This hero has been absolutely beaten into the ground, you know, in comparison. But teams are showing us it still has a lot of strengths. And understandably so, you know, fundamentally, there's a lot of things about this hero that are just so different to every other hero in the game. Yeah. I mean, he has, he has crazy potential. That's the thing. Because he has got a nerf, but he got slight buffs. His uh, his ultimate got buffed up a couple times, even yep. though it doesn't give the bonus damage. Of course, Basher doesn't work on anything anymore. But the soldier attack speed is actually incredibly fast, and Jingu mastery is still a thing. Jingu puts bound bound the strike. That's sixty percent life steal with bonus damage is no joke. You get it. Turn it, fight around quickly. That being said, though, high armor heroes like Sven and stuff like that, and Night Stalker can be pretty obnoxious. But we'll see how QO is able to fare. Up top, RJ and DJ tried to make a bit of a go here, but they missed the stun, and now Fnatic, they could get punished for this. Three stacks already onto DJ and RJ. Ghostic will be able to get himself away, comes back in, keeps the stacks being built up on DJ. Empire end up being able to put a fair bit of harassment down onto DJ and RJ in this top lane. And this is going to be a little interesting to see as well. The safe lane Ember. I, I can't remember last time I saw it. Oh, Ghost is come back. He's going to be He's going to be dead. He's, oh, he's, he's pretty fast boots. Okay, he has got the boots. Yeah, playing on the edge there though, coming back into those two. Oh my goodness, full tri-lane mid by Empire. Oh my <laughs> goodness. Alright, well they got QO down pretty low. What are these lanes in DJ? So FN on that mid PL, as you say, with the d two supports behind him at the moment. I mean, leaving Rezo alone against a higher, this is... I don't, this is not necessarily an easy 1v1 for the Sven, is it? No, it's really hard. Yeah, the is going to really rule this lane. Yeah. Once he's got some levels, he can kind of deal with it a little bit, because he's got the cleave and the Warcry to kind of like run away and, of course, push the wave out. But, yeah, Darkseer's going to get way more out of this. Yeah, Rezo needs some out. He is going to get it now, as uh, we're going to see Maposhka move down it. But, I mean, he, even the AA... Even the AA, AA does not, not do much to no, Darkseer at this all. This is not a nice lane for Empire, it doesn't feel like. With rotations, they can kill him though. With the double, with the stun plus cold feet, they do have kill opportunities if the darks is too far up. With the rotation, the night stalker and Roger's gonna go back to base and make more rotations after sitting mid for a bit. I'll right, we'll see what's going on on the the, the top line as well, Archit.
having no trouble at all controlling the lane, finding the farm. DJ actually drawing the attention of Ghostick away from that top lane, so space will be there for the Ember. We have lane FNs will be forced to pop the south. Kua has got the Jingu up. No, he's to get some easy CS. I mean, bottom lane, to be fair, it, it seems like Rezo, he is dealing with this pressure. He, yeah, I mean, level one, iron, level one Iron Shell is not too much. It's True. The, it's the Iron okay. Shell when they build it, and you gave him like three stars, so he's going to have level three, and level three and level four, or level two and level three Iron Shells once it really starts to punish. DJ top, looks like Ghostix actually got four stacks on him, chasing him up, maybe to get the kill, but no, Ajit's there to back him up, but that means Ajit is missing creeps in the lane, which he is, so this Batrider is being quite a nuisance. And mid lane CS at the moment, FM with the lead, but I guess it's kind of expected when you send a full try lane mid at the start, you, you would expect your, your mid laners to have a slight bit of an edge. Yeah. Ajit to come in, QO, oh, he's going to get the chance to get those Jingus up, FN. I mean, okay, oh, the boundless strike actually strike. misses FN, so I feel like kind of mistakes from both halves there. FN allowing Kyo to get those three Jingus up, as he just, I believe, he walked up to tango a tree. And then Kyo actually whiffing the boundless strike. It's it's uh, it's early in the morning. Both, yeah. both teams waking up. I wonder if we'll see Kyo get the um, either Orb of Venom or Blightstone, because, of course, when you use boundless strike, it applies oh, yeah, all the orb effects that you have, and it's actually super useful. I was going to say, it feels like cases. yeah, you're kind of missing out on the opportunity if you don't. But, yeah. I mean, at the moment, he's not got it queued up. Obviously, phase boot rushing as well yes. is, is super nice. It's super nice. It Maybe super after the nice. phase you can yeah. get it, but... That's all, I mean, orb is always nice. I mean, I've seen a lot of people on PL get the orb of venom, because when you use your lance, you know, your illusion pro to uh, orb of venom proc on them, too. Oh, that's true, yeah. A bit of chase down. Cure. I'm just going to have to deal with Roger coming in once more. But, of course, Cure doesn't manage to care about being really voided. He's just going to turn. And, in fact, now with the, the, the Jingu up, Roger has totally underestimated the potential of that Monkey King. I mean, still, I guess we're in an age where maybe some of the players aren't too used to it. But, I mean, that was just him standing there and going, oh, crap, this guy does a lot of damage. And... I was not ready for it. Yeah, if you get, I mean, if he gets the Jingu stacks, it's because heeah. he's mid. He's already level four, four so he has two I points mean, in Jingu. He may, he may be just bound. I was going to say, he is, yeah. yeah. He is going just to. get the strikes up. I think Empire uh, may be looking up the, the wiki page on what this hero does. As uh, Kyo is being quite the threat at the moment in the middle lane. Yeah, yeah you don't, don't stand near him, FN. It, it's going to hurt. It's night time, though. Night Stalker can make the rotation. FN can start spamming the lances. Roger is in Viz 2. Is Febby in the area? Febby kind of is. Okay, yeah, they've got a good chance of going, but there is the backup from Febby. FM falling low. Now Kyo turns his attention towards Roger. And uh, it was uh, it was good attempt from him. I, if oh, the Ohio wasn't there, they would have got it. Ohio's going to get him. Oh, my goodness, he is as well. Ohio with the, the sort of rotation that, I mean, Empire certainly would have been expected that, the Dark City just appear in the mid lane. Yeah, that was... I mean, that's the best when your offlaner does those kind of things, when he's just randomly in a position where nobody would expect it. Except the kill on FN. FN's still doing all right in the CS. Yeah, he's looking pretty good anyway. He's looking like a pretty close early game. And though Monkey King is getting quite a lot. That's the I thing. He's got the phase boost now. This yeah. is where it gets a little, you know, well a lot trickier. This is where it gets scary is because Monkey King's a hero where he snowballs really far out of control. It's similar to the Ursa kind of in the laning phase with those Jinku stacks. You have to really watch your positioning. You can't let those kind of things happen. If he gets three hits off or four hits off, it's the lane way harder. And yeah, now with phase boots, Phantom Lancer actually can't really last hit properly versus him because he's got much higher base damage and the threat of just getting walked down with that increased movement scene from phase and tether. They actually have so much chase potential. I'll tell you what though, looking at this bottom lane, despite how I felt the lane may have gone, that Brezzo's absolutely owning it down here. 33 CS against the 22 of the Dark Sea. I, I, I kind of felt that this this should be more in the Dark Sea's favor, but Rezo, he is dealing with it like a boss. Yeah, you know, that's... The thing is that uh, Darkseer, he, even if he gets like those free lanes, it sometimes he still struggles just because of all the yeah. mana changes. Ion Shell's so damn expensive. Look, look, Ohio's just constantly sitting at zero mana, so he always has to use Sol Ring. He can't put multiple Ion Shells on the waves, so Rezo's actually able to deal with it decently. But now, you see the damage that's being done. It's level 5, so he's level 3 Ion Shell. Rezo's sitting very sure. low. I do like the way he's built, though. You know, you just get the brown boots and then just save straight up for the Mars, so you yeah. have that lifesteal and any opportunity you can. Rezo can keep himself self-sustained in the lane. Well, that's a hasted Monkey King on top. Yep, could get a bit messy for Empire if they don't back up, but it looks like Roger and Ghost Stick. They've got a ward. Yeah, they, they know. Coming in. So unlikely Kyo is going to find anything up top. Could try and rotate back around towards the mid lane, where at the moment Febby's looking to pick up the levels. Up on the high ground, he's looking for the jump. He's going to go for the easier kill. Looks towards Maposhka. Oh, straight down with the boundless strike. Maposhka's gone. 
look at the not quite get the proc there. Kyo does still have three stacks. The Jingu, he, he can turn a punch. Steel. Yeah, he, he has a level three Jingu, so it's forty-five percent life steal. Damage. Fuck. <laughs> It's a lot of punching. What's he got next on the guy? So, okay, so he did pick up the blight. Yeah, he did pick up the blight. Punch FN straight down on the HP department. I mean, you've got Roger trying to tickle around with QO, but when he has Febby near him, it's it's so hard to do anything. He's got to go back in, and FN has to be so damn careful with the pressure that QO's being put on. In fact, QO, he can look for the kill. It jumps forward. He's got Banner Strike back up in a couple Ooh. of seconds. FN. With the Dukes will get away. Oh, Poshka, he's definitely going down. Boundless strikes there with the takings as they take down the AA. And this Monkey King IO duo being very scary. Nice Fabi break. will get knocked back and they do get the IO at least. So they will be able to punish. But QO's reign still continues in this middle lane. 2 0 2. I mean, he was fine as well. He had 11 1 charges if he needed it. Yeah, he's looking pretty damn devastating. Level 7, max Jingu time. That extra bonus damage plus. That. The big thing is, I mean, the damage is great, of course. It doubles with when you max it, but that lifesteal gets so ridiculous from first level to the final level. Like 60% lifesteal on your, and if you hit for like 250, what the heck? If you, had like, if you had a creep wave with Boundless Strike, you're actually first full healed. If you have your Jingo stacks, of course. I'm going to get lucky with the rune, though, as Invis will spawn down at the bottom. FN just keeping himself away from the lane now, cleaning up some of the jungle caps. Same to be said with Ohio, he's he's kind of been opting for that rather than looking towards the lane. And this has allowed Brezzo to get an incredible amount of farm. Ohio will surge away. But I mean, yeah, 8 minutes in, 57 CS. Resolution, I mean, it's pretty much perfect last hitting down this end. And it's just so, for the most part of it, he's been on his own. So he's getting great levels. He's level 8. This could set up to be a game where we see a, a Sven being as big as the, the mid lane Sven that we saw no one bring out. Because he's getting the farm and he's getting the levels. Yeah. However, you may be you may be jinxing him. There's is he? His, 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 his yeah, he's looking, he's looking for it. Looking for him. Reza does have to be careful. Reza spots the IO, so he probably expects some kind of shenanigans to be going down here a little bit. DJ, very patient, waiting for Ohio. Now yeah. it's a level eight darks here though, so this is Max Ion show. Okay. And he's going for the hood build since you know he's playing versus AA. You don't ideally always want to rush a mech, especially. So you heard. This rotation coming in now. Now our Jits joined the gang and they're ready to move. They're safe landing in on the action. Jumping forward, looking for Rezo. Gets the root into the stun. Iron Shell stacking up with the Flame Guard and Resolution's armor is not going to save him. Nice. Magic damage too much. That's one down. They'll jump forward with the Remnant as Fnatic clean up a second down on this bottom lane. Very important that they keep the aggression going whenever they... Like, as, they as soon as they hit the double sevens on the uh, Darkseer and Ember. This is perfect rotation coming out from Fnatic here. Well, it looks over there, they're going to stick around and take the tower, and I don't think Empire have any interest in trying to put a stop to it mid lane. Banner yeah, Strike yeah. is up again. Woo. FN is going to doppelgang about, but there's going to be the jump forward from QO, and that will be the kill. Febby comes in for the kill secure. Resolution does TP in. QO, he's going to try and get the stacks up. QO can man fight this, I believe. He has got the ultimate if he wants to use it. Looks like the damage is too much. He's going to be able to jump just to the last but moment. Cut. Yeah, he yeah. can't jump himself back down. Still on cooldown. Ghost sticks there with the wraparound. And Rezo, with an incredibly successful rotation, gets the double kill. He'll be able to clean up the Ancients with the remainder of his god strength. Oh god, no, uh, Roger! Oh. He just got handled. Uh, we'll, we'll that. It was lag, bit of lag there. Uh, he was bit of lag. For the cause, for the cause zone. Yeah, Rezo was like, kill yourself. I want the solo oh, no, XP. No, I oh no, here. now Rezo is saying he might be in trouble himself. Oh shit. Jumping forward, we'll get held back by the Stormhammer. FN's there, along with Ghost Stick. But yeah, all, just about giving the Sven solo XP. Makes sense, makes sense. So, Kyo's going Midas on Monkey King. I like it. I'm a fan of Midas. Some type of accelerator, seems it's, decent. And it allows him to, you know, kind of play that style where you're spending more time moving around the map hunting for kills, and you, you know you're not going to fall too far behind. Yeah, have that Midas to keep up. But he's also their um, he's their physical damage dealer entirely yeah. on Fnatic, so he That's has true. to be the one who scales like incredibly hard into the later stages. So it does make sense that he wants to go for something like that that gives him that. And mid tower, the siege begins. Fnatic all posted up on the side here too, so it's looking like it's very hard for Empire to even try to defend this. Yeah, they're gonna get the night time out, but it's hard indeed for Empire to actually get a jump in on this. Fnatic moving forward as a team, Ohio looks to scout things out as he surges forward up to the high ground. 
gonna find anything though is Empire already back up. QO finds the space to get the tower. Roger hiding in the tree line. We'll drop down the ward, so Empire are fully aware of this movement from Fnatic. So I just did go for the Veil build since they have so much okay. magic damage on their team with the double eye with the Ion Shell and Flame or Nyx. Armor is always nice to have whenever just having any type of armor item for you Oh, actually, I'll tell you what, he's not going to be in trouble. Or he maybe his Midas up. His Midas is up. Don't, did he not use it? No, he just got oh. it. Oh, the relocate. Oh, 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 oh. Fabby. Kyo is like, thank God. He's going to jump. He wants to use his Midas. Nah, so Kyo is like, you could have at least re relocated me to a creep. Now we get it. Now he's got it. Now he's got it. In fact, he's found himself Roger. Isn't going to quite be able to get the catch in him by the looks of it. Mid lane, FN's being eyed up. DJ's got Vendetta. They've got the setup ready to go. There's the Woo. boundless strike into the stun, and FN's gone. Use of Midas and the participation in a kill feels good for Qo. I wonder what Qo is gonna get. He's gonna go the Deso. He's gonna go the Echo. He has BKB queued up, so he's afraid of oh, all wow. that heavy lockdown. The Night Stalker. Yeah, that the is bat. an early BKB. Yeah. I mean, I guess you know they've obviously got good damage output at this stage with the magic. So Qo is just like, if I can keep myself alive, yeah, just get those Jingu Mastery stacks up. It does make sense. Yeah, he's good to go. In fact, Coastic. Oh, Coastic? He's he's pretty deep there. What was he doing there? I, I mean, he he spent up. He's brought his blink dagger, which is you know it's been a, been a pretty good timing. I, how did he get what there? Was, what was he doing there? I maybe mean, just forgot what side he was playing on. Happens to the best of us. He was deep. It was. All right. Well, pretty little pickup for Q. <laughs> maybe it's just like the huh, huh, I'm gonna feed, and then surprise, I've actually got a blink dagger. Now they're not gonna expect him to have the blink. He just wanted to make his death as apparent as possible. Whilst he didn't have it, but <laughs> who knows? Sure. He's got it now. <laughs> Fnatic has very deep wards, all three positioned in very opportune areas, just so they can see where the smokes do come or wherever the rotations are coming from behind those towers. And this one may not be spotted though. They did not see that one because FN did not get hit by it. They're making their move toward top. I mean, they can't like, position yeah. Rezo up there. Doesn't look like they're going to be able to catch any kills, but yeah, certainly securing the space around Rezo, who's very nearly got. That echo saber done. Yeah, I think they want to like, pressure the tower. Defending those, defending those kind of towers. There's so many pincer points. Uh, at least like on the radiant side in particular. Walking down to defend an echo is super crazy. They probably expected all fanatics to be down there. They now see four heroes. So Rezo pops God Strength and starts mask of madness in the tower. But the rotations are coming. Fnatic yeah. is setting up. See how hard you can get. The ghost is here though. Yeah, Nekka's just going to jump yeah, back in onto him. Arjit came in to. You know, too quickly before any of his other team could have the chance of helping him out. Ohio is there. We'll see if he can catch anything if he wants to, but they're, they're being very careful. They know that Empire has pretty much the full team up here. Yeah, very smart smoke. The way that they do that one, you know, it's Rezo starts making his way top. Even though there's not like a natural way to push the tower, just there's just some creeps on it. They make that smoke top and sit behind him. Oh, cute! Blown up from the tree line there, Roger and Maposhka. Catching him by surprise. He just got... They, they got owned by the supports. They're going to get the IO as well. There was the attempt to relocate QO out of there, but obviously QO was already gone. So Empire, they're going to get both of them. I say that. Oh, Fabi going to get away with that. Oh, he's going to get away with that. Oh, that was neat. Very nice little play from him there. No mana on the Night Stalker for Void. Very nice. He only had the Crippling Fear. Very nice play by Fabi. Well, nine to five. Only slightly for Fnatic in the gold department, so still anyone's game, and definitely the one to watch out for feels like to to be Resolution Sven. Yeah. As he is getting the farm, he's got all the tools he needs. The the Masker Man is Echo Saber, Echo Saber complete. I mean, once he has the BKB, you know, as we've been saying, magic damage really is kind of the main forte from Fnatic. So yeah. Once the Sven Sven has BKB blink, yeah, it's going to be a completely different timing window for Empire, where they should be able to take a lot of the fights. So now we have Yule's going to be built up on Ajit next. And yeah, Kyo's still just rushing that BKB. It makes sense though, you see what just happened bottom with that nice Agra AA, right? The True. Of magic damage. They need to have some kind of solution for it. Well, nice ice blast onto free, but he won't slow them down too much as Fnatic continue. We'll find another tier one. Actually, around Fabi. the... Yeah, the Roshan. Fabi's going to be caught out. Does have a haste rune. So the lasso will not be enough to set up for any action. Now they'll continue their siege again. Now there's no there's no lasso, so there's just like no way that Empire can really take a proper fight until that BKB for the Sven. Yeah, DJ looking to scout out some action, but they're prepared from here. They do lay down a sentry. 
DJ not to head that way though as he'll just continue to hang around the rest of his team Fnatic getting themselves another tower looks like Empire not interested in contesting just securing their own half of the map making sure Rezo is incredibly safe in the jungle FN has now managed to finish off that defusal blade yes this is where they can actually start being a little bit more aggressive level 12 so he's got max doppel with defusal and Sven is getting closer and closer to that blink that or that BKB. Bebby. Looking very dead here. He's been left behind. Freebie for Empire. Daji, of course, going straight for the Yules now after Bell. Making sure that he had that extra bit of survivability. QO, use your Midas, son. Use it on the range crew. Yeah. You saw somebody posted that, uh. I did actually say, yeah, right? saying yeah. like if you're waiting a few seconds, it's not, not actually it. that it's like, efficient it's... to to wait for the range creep or a bigger neutral. Yeah. If you have to, if the range creep is there and you wanna, if you wanna walk to a hard camp, it's like six and a half seconds yeah. or something. It for the yeah. makes me worth it. Roger, you are starting to get the chase down. And just get the silence. silence out. DJ's there though with the setup with the stun. Fnatic will get the kill. Ice plus to the face on Arjit and Febby. for Fnatic. I'm gonna see if they can actually move in and, and chase down for more. Empire already backing resolution back to safety along with Maposhka. Top lane ghosting, continuing to to push this lane up. As QO, he's gonna come around towards the mid lane. He's trying to get the chase down onto FN. He's got full BKB already on Monkey King, so he's got no fear right now trying to go for his dives. And it's QO. Let's <laughs> we'll see if they can get this uh, hunting him. I'll get the boundless strike connection. It's a yeah, very tricky one to chase down. Nice little 300 damage down. harassment. Not bad at all. I wonder where it goes next. Do we never see Monkey Kings finish off like the full Dessa? I don't know. We haven't gotten to see too many Monkey Kings. True. Sorry. We haven't. I've heard in theory it, it, it has worked. People have talked about the Echo Desso build, but I think the Diffusal is just so much better, especially in okay. this game too. Echo Diffusal. Purge off the Warcry. It's super useful just for that mana burn as well. The stats are just great. I mean, that edgy. People have just been picking up a lot more defusals now. You get on the Weavers, on the Ursas, pretty much on any hero if you're playing versus a certain lineup. Relocate's going to come in. They're looking to cut Boraja off as he tries to retreat back down the lane. We'll get the silence out onto Kuro, but that won't stop that Jingu Mastery that right stacking click. up. And Roger is gone. Fnatic cut him down. Do I have the Creek Wave moving in on this bottom lane? They could try and threaten a bit of the high ground here. Uh, as we said though, they they don't really have the best tower push. Yeah. Well, saying it's that though, they've taken King. a lot of towers despite that. Yeah, I mean, the Monkey King is... They're snowballing, that's the thing. Yeah. They are... Empire's unable to contest the team fights because of how far ahead of Oh, that's is. nice there. The vacuum coming through into RG, jumping forward. That'll be the AA gone. The lasso's out, but Ghost takes it. Can end up killing himself. The ball's to the face from Ferry, bring him down. Rezo, he's trying to man up against QO, but QO backs off. He's going to drop the ult so they can maintain this control around this tower push. They do lose Ferby as FM picks him off on the side. Rezo, got strength, still up for a couple of seconds. He doesn't take too much damage from Jingu. The Monkey King didn't really go for damage items just yet either. And he's queued up the Dessa. Okay, he's going for the Dessa. So we're okay. going to get it. I, I mean, I, I think, again, this is also down, as you sort of mentioned, with the Snowball potential. The fact that they are threatening high ground at 20 minutes, having a Dessa for this push is is going to be great for the fighting, but also great for taking down these structures and towers. Yeah, we saw... Uh, who was it yesterday that got stuck at the base? It was TNC. They got stuck at the base. They weren't able to finish sieging. Yeah. And that's because you know, they didn't have... Not only just that they didn't have the itemization for it, but their heroes weren't naturally good at pushing towers. So these are always adjustments you can make. Get a Desolator, get an AC early on, so you can actually be able to break that high ground. That's what's good. That's what's good versus like Batrider and AA and stuff. Get really easy kills by Poshka. Sun connects. DJ finds him, and he's dead. Interesting as well that Arjit ended up going for the full bots. Uh, we, we did see him have the Yule Scepter queued up, but yeah. feeling that he could feel safe enough to not have to worry about. They're already sieging, so if you yeah. can always just like worry about this split push, he needs to with those bots, it could be super useful. Well, I guess they've got like the full pipe on Ohio, and Ohio actually after the pipe's gonna go straight for the the Lotus Orb, so that'll certainly certainly be enough to to save whoever gets crippling feared by the Knights. But yeah, look at this push. I mean, Fnatic they're getting away with murder here. They just take the tier three. Now AA's back up. They can look for an ice blast or some sort of way to get in on this fight. God's strength is online again too. 
no blink dagger. Hey, look at the lasso, dragging back a higher, but the boundless strikes there. And Tajik jumped in the wall. The There's the vacuum onto four. The stone comes out from DJ QO in the midst of it all. Just right clicking them down. Rezo, can he turn? Yes, he can. The god strength is too damn strong. They've cut down three. And Empire, even though they've lost two, heavily oh, catching them on the way out. Arjit can't quite escape. And they're also going to get Febby on the re relocate back as Empire. A team wipe fanatic. They hold the base, and that's a push gone wrong. That's that's not good. <laughs> I mean, it's, it seemed like because we they had this great vacuum, and then it. I think it was the fact that the boundless strike had already been used. If they had a boundless strike on top of that, I think it would have been a very different situation. But yeah, things just didn't quite line up, despite the best efforts of Ohio to set up something beautiful for Fnatic to to definitely have closed up on a taking a set of racks, but. It just didn't fall into place. Yeah, it's pretty bold for them to go for that kind of Rax push too. I mean, they're playing versus a Batrider and a Night Stalker. So you're playing into a team that's going to get the better initiation than you majority of the time. So sure, they got the great counter initiation, but this is a Sven. Yeah. And your heroes do not deal well with the Sven. I mean, they just, they just straight don't when he has these kind of items. And now, yeah, with that BKB finished, once he gets Blink Dagger, this is what we were talking about, the BKB window. As soon as he gets it, it's a massive turnaround for Empire. And we're going to see that start to come to fruition. Yeah, nearly level 18 as well. Rezo really stepping it up this game. And we still saw him out just the solid farm. His team have been playing perfectly around him as well. Despite the fact that Fnatic have been getting a lot done. That's because Empire, a lot of the times they, they'd opted against defending towers. Just to make sure that they could provide a safe space for Rezo. Mid lane, Kyo popping the BKB. He misses the boundless strike on everybody. And uh, they will still get the AA. But the rest of Empire can walk it off. So that, that's BKB. Once again, another charge down on Kyo and you got an AA kill, but it really wasn't down to Kyo's efforts himself. And they're the going to got it. They're going to go into the pit. They did not have very good Roche damage. Rezo's they, got God Strength back up. This could be very risky for them if they don't. If Empire is like aware of this at all, they kill it very slowly. Empire should know it's yep, up. Yeah, they're, they're going, going in. in. I mean, they're oh, online. Fanatic. This is a very risky place What's to fight. What's going on? The wall will be dropped. Uh -oh, Rezo Ohio. moving in, ready to go. QO pops out the ult. Boundless Strike's not going to do anything, but the BKB already out for resolution. There's the Ice Blast flying through. Great connection as they've already brought down QO. They'll get Ohio as well. Febby is not going to get himself out of there. DJ is just left to try and run himself away. The Crippling Fizz on RJ. He's gone. They'll get the connection with the Void onto DJ. DJ to fall as well. And Fnatic, what are you doing from that bottom lane? To that Roche attempt, that was it's just it's just bad play after bad play. It feels fog. That one was very questionable. The bottom one you could understand it, but this one they do not have good Roche hitters. They know that Sven has BKB. They just use Monkey King BKB. They're playing versus a Vision team. That's what's gonna happen. They're gonna be able to just walk into that pit. Not only just that, I really like the decision from Empire. It was after they won that bottom fight. Roger buys a gem. He has three phase boot earned gem. They're playing versus the Knicks. They know that the Vendetta is going to be going around. That's the way that Fnatic takes the fights with that vision game. But now, it's all going toward Empire. This is what we were kind of expecting too. It's the timing window of that BKB as well. And you know, they're playing with a PL on their lineup with Empire. That hero does take a little bit of time, but Rezo was the one who had to put on his back. In the game. Aye, aye, aye. What's the now down for our fans? So, we certainly expect to see him pick up the split push pressures. Good levels as well after taking that Roshan straight up to level 18. QO did finish off the Desolator. Still, we'll see what he goes for as his next item. And as we've been saying, Fnatic need to be more careful with these fights. Giving a lot of weight to Empire after those last two situations. Maybe they can get a free pick here. They will spot Miposhka out on the front lines of it all. Oh, bam! He's gone. Rezo, he wants to jump. Oh, 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 no, Fnatic, not like this. Jumped on by Rezo. Q pops the BKP. That is not going to save him from Rezo. Chunking him down. He's got a fair bit of movement speed, but Roger's flying across. Should be able to find the connection, and he does. Jump forward from Resolution and Ghost Stick. And the kids he wants to get. They're all dead. Roger, I couldn't have said it better myself. I think Fnatic has made crucial mistakes. I'll, I'll, I'm going to be honest, I haven't had the chance to see any of Fnatic's games, but I know they're not doing too hot at the moment in these group stages, and if it's if this game's anything to go by, it, it really does seem that there, there's just issues in, in in the shot calling. It's, it's just all over the place. And I, yeah. Empire is just going to be full of smiles at the moment. Yeah, they had. I mean, Fnatic had a very good laning phase. They had a yeah. very good 10 to 12 minutes afterwards, and then they tried to go for a high ground siege, which is very bold. 
And then they try to go for Roche with a non kind of not a very good Roche lineup with their BKB on cooldown. Yeah, Empire just easily crushing these fights now. Just having the level advantage, having the item advantage by far now. But however, they may find Rezo here. DJ is going to go in with Arjit, but Rezo, can you get out? It doesn't look like he has, so that, that's a big one. It's a bold place to farm by Rezo, too. Farming enemy ancients. They're going to get more out of this. This is more like it for Fnatic. There we go. Getting some freebies, as this time it is Empire that wants to make the mistakes and, and get a little ahead of themselves. You know, Rezo obviously farming that location, getting the ancients. But those are just those are just like little kills that happen. You know, those are natural things that you just run at heroes with five. This isn't a big decision making thing. That's the thing we're talking about, right? Fnatic's decision making does seem very questionable, especially because that bottom push and that rush. So let's see what they're able to make out of this timing window where they have 45 seconds. Don't really think they can really they can't really claim too much out of it. Is the problem? Yeah, Rezo should be back up before anything too crazy goes down. See, Arjit's time now is indeed trying to get that Yule Scepter done, and, and he's got it, so definitely crucial to have a chance in these fights with Roger focusing him and trying to lock him down. QO, yet to cure up his next item. Interested to see what he does up for. I mean, at this point, I mean, the Echo Saber, as you've been saying, it's, it's still a it's still a, such a value item on the, the Monkey King, but maybe at this stage it's a little too late uh, Yeah, I think he needs bigger game. items. Yeah. No, on top lane, Maposhka, pushing out on his own. I'll say that, as you know, he has got the rest of the team coming up. And in fact, Ghost Dick's going to look to try and go for a pick. Oh, has the Firefly jumps forward. It's going to be able to grab the Monkey King. Febby, can he do any sort of save? Yes, he can. Tethers in, gets the relocate out. The rest of Fnatic look to be in trouble, though, as FN focuses down DJ. Now turns towards Ohio, has the Diffusal Blade slow. Kuo will get a good ult down here. as They'll look to try and turn and fight, but there's the jump forward. They've already managed to find a second. Rezo's moving in with the God Strength. Roger wrapping around. Fnatic just having to be on the retreat. And Febby's not getting home tonight, boys. He's down. Triple kill for FN. They'll clean up a fourth as QO gets left behind as the BKB wears out. And now it's Empire ready to pressure the high ground of Fnatic. Fortification comes through. They do have buyback on two. But it really feels like Empire have just ta started to, to sweep this game away. Fnatic has mostly lost their window too. They have Monkey King Ember Spirit, which are pretty mid gamey kind of heroes, versus PL and Sven, which go very hard into this, especially this 28, 30 minute mark. I mean, PL just becomes stronger and stronger. Sven does peak out at a relatively early time, but yeah, it's looking very impossible for Fnatic to actually take this game now to Empire, just because of the nature of their lineup. They have no way to deal with this BKB. Sven pops BKB, he can just run at them, and PL now at this point is just way too, way too strong, has way too many items for them to deal with. He has Manta Diffusal too. Yeah, and the money for a big tanker as well. He's too elusive for their one actual disable. I mean, sure, they have Balance Strike and there's a Brute and stuff like that can, that can be a little annoying, but PL doesn't care about that stuff now. Yeah, point. the damage is just not there at all for Fnatic. Even this Monkey King, you know, it, because they are running them at, them at five, the War Cry's always there from Reza. Yeah, that's so the thing. ult, the Balance Strike, a lot of that damage negated pretty heavily. They're going for some type of desperate play, maybe getting a couple of big kills around these wards that they just placed up. Fire seems to be aware they're all in position. Let's see what they can do it. That was popped. Vision limited for Fnatic. While the illusions from FN continue sieging and pushing mid. Full data list now on Rezo. Yeah, Rezo having an incredibly solid game. Oh yeah, 10, 2 and 8. All the CS in the world. It's a good hero to, that they picked up. <laughs> yeah, I say it's a good pick for Rezo. Sven has just been looking to be quite strong overall in this group stages. And then PL also seems to be rising a lot. And they're making yeah. it work. The Sven was like that, you know, is that rock until the PL gets online. And then that's where you FN and starts being a bit out of control. Let's see what Fnatic's next play is going to be. Kuo actually going back for a, a Vanguard, so still not really going to address the, the lack of damage the Fnatic have in these fights. And I mean, it, do you like the fact that he's going for the Vanguard? Is it, is it really going to do much for him? Is it, is it going to actually keep him alive against the damage that, that's there? What's the plan with the Vanguard? On Kuo? On Kuo. I don't like the Vanguard oh, at all. Oh, he's changed it. Okay, I like Okay, it, yeah. he's changed it. I okay. was like, wait, yeah. I was so oh, confused. He had I'm, a like, I was like, I'm like clicking on Darkseer and I'm like, <laughs> but no, he's changed it. So he's going to go for the Halberd, definitely understandable. Halberd could do a lot against Reza in these fights. They will get the vacuum wall out 
They've already lost DJ. Ohio trying to retreat, but there's the jump four for Ghost. It grabs him with the lasso. We'll relocate will be out just in time. Bebby will be able to make the save. Though almost certainly not going to be getting home himself as he will be taken down by Empire. He's trying to TP, but doesn't get it. Fnatic again losing two, unable to really put a dent at all into Empire's lineup in these skirmishes. Fnatic's lineup is way too strong right now. Our Empire's lineup, Fnatic has to just try to split the map up as best as they can. Don't really know what their, their recovery is going to be because they have no way to deal with Rezo. Oh yeah, I'm talking about Rezo who has caught Ohio there. Ohio will let us sort off the slow from the Knight's Dock Avoid. Can get himself out of it. Turns around. Nice vacuum into the two man's turn. They are going to get off the ultimate here. Fnatic, can they make the turnaround? They've managed to take down one. Can they get anything more? Rezo already out of the sidelines with Roger. Will escape. So, only get the one, but still. A kill is a kill at this stage for Fnatic. They'll take it, and it does slow down Empire in terms of Empire maybe being at the point where they were hoping to try and push up to the high ground once again. Yeah, they still have to play around God's strength and BKB timing yeah. on this event. They can get picked off from the Monkey King from Ember Spirit. There's, they're not like they're super weak right now it's in those type of pickoff situations. It's into those 5v5s, into those BKBs that Fnatic just appear a lot weaker. Yeah, the Halberd, like you were mentioning, that's a much better item choice. Yeah, this is nice. This is nice. I mean, it's not its not obviously the, the item that I think, you know, Q on the Monkey King would have wanted to build, but it's, it's funny. He sort of has to build. If he, if, you know, if he can disarm that Sven in these engagements, then... There is a chance. There's a chance that he can live long enough uh, for maybe his ultimate to, to kill off some of the weaker members of Empire. Yeah, I mean, we did say though, like they're full, ma they're like full magic damage. So if he does get like, like say yeah. he halberds as the BKB from Rezo goes off, and then they can stall that BKB and just kind of kite him around, then their lineup can actually do something if they survive during that duration. They can kite him out, and they can actually do a good chunk of damage with that all that magic they have. But FN is also the problem. You know, we're talking so much about Rezo, Rezo, Rezo. True, FN, FN is, is close behind. Yeah. He is a huge problem. He has a full out BKB as well on this P out. Yeah, double BKB now. now. Yeah, now they can't even deal with the PL. That's a really smart item decision by FN. Here we go. The siege continues now. They're going to try to put as much pressure as they can. Rose should be spawning soon. So they can claim a tier 2 and then maybe they can go back and check if that Rose is up. For Empire, because they have heroes to do rush. They can actually clean it up pretty nicely with that God String and Daedalus. And it is Aegis and Cheese since it's the second rush. And it does just spawn. Ghost spots it out. And let's see if Empire makes the move. It does seem like they are. Fnatic smoked up. They've got Halper finished. They're building the Solar Crest next on Ohio, so trying to get those evasion tactics to deal with the PO on the spend. But is it enough, though? I think so. Still quite a ways away, 17,000 gold lead for Empire, and they're gonna get this age just real easy. You know how you turn this one around, for You get rapier, rapier on Monkey King. <laughs> That's just the only way. It might be getting, it. it might be getting to that point pretty soon. I don't, I, I, I don't, I want, I, I want to say that a Monkey King's never probably built Rapier in competitive play. I don't think so. I, 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 I should be fair, maybe, maybe, maybe in some of the obscure tournaments. <laughs> Well, here we go. Get Empire get Roche. They are looking to set up for kills. They jump in. Ferby again. Nice save. We'll take DJ out of there. Fnatic's still around. Can they reinitiate? Did he just to scout things out with the vendor? But Rezo jumps in on the back lines and finds Arjit. And, and Arjit still him. doesn't even get the chance to remnant out. Cure will put the ultimate. BKB as well. Turns towards Rezo. Rezo looking to get himself out of there. They do have the dust. They've got the vision upon him. But Rezo gets double force back to safety. Empire trying to get him away from the side of Fnatic. And it will work. FN now turning towards DJ. But the boundless strikes there. Fnatic have managed to pop the Aegis. Doing pretty well in this engagement so far, but FN now has the BKB and he's ready to try and fight. Turns towards DJ. Ohio looking to turn as well, but Roger has the control on Ohio. Ohio falling low. Stun comes out from Rezo. They've taken down three. Qo's going to fall as well. And again, it ends up being Fnatic getting wiped. They just can't. They can't do it at this stage. It's, it's just impossible against Empire's lineup and how far ahead Empire are. I mean, they lost They lost their Ember Spirit right at the start of the fight, too. He got literally nothing on. Rezo just blinks in, kills him. But they were fighting into Aegis Cheese. The fight actually wasn't looking horrific for Fnatic. They had some signs of some signs of life with that Monkey King. He still did good chunks of damage, but yeah, like you said, too far ahead right now at this point from Empire. Having that Aegis, that Cheese. 
and those BKBs online after they blur up. Fnatic is unable to take the fights from yeah. the game. They call the GG. GG is they had. I gotta say though, they I had like their early stop. game. Yeah. I did like their early game. Their first 20 minutes were, or first like 18 minutes, 17 minutes were pretty crisp. But I think it does definitely come down to decision making at this point. Like them going for that high ground siege is very bold. They take the tower out. I think taking the tower is fine.